Hello, hello, how are you? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Tuesday and it's time for another video. Today you are with me in my small studio in Warsaw and by the way, surprisingly, studio in Polish means exactly what it means in English, studio. In today's episode, I will show you the image from Zachek Sand Dunes, which I took during my recent November trip to Socotro Island in Yemen. I'm gonna show you how I edit such image in Lightroom to achieve very simple, very minimalistic and atmospheric look. Let's jump into Lightroom and start editing. Okay, here we are in Lightroom, but before I start editing uh, one image, I have for you three different images from Zachek Sand Dunes. Just for comparison, so you can see by yourself how, it, how this place looks like and uh, which of those three images works the best for you. Uh, first one, as you can see, is a real shot from uh, my drone DJI Mavic 2 Pro and in my opinion this image does not work for a few reasons. First of all, the light is very harsh, the shadows are very harsh and the, um, it's because the image was taken like two hours before the sunset, sunset so the, the sun was still relatively high and it created these very harsh shadows. The second reason is that the DJI Mavic 2 Pro uses very um, wide angle lens and in such a, um, such a shot uh, this lens basically doesn't work, the, the composition doesn't work and the field of view is too wide for such an, um, such an image. Then the third reason is that we have a lot of distractions like these bushes in the uh, background as well as here plus the the sand which is uh, in some places much darker like here on the left hand side or here on the right hand side which is much darker and, uh, than the sand on the dunes which is very uh, light warm and uh, softy i would say and the last one in my opinion is the the sky the sky which is very flat uh, no single cloud so in general this image won't work from my perspective then there is a second image which i took handheld with my with my canon eos r5 with uh, rf 70-200 mil lens uh, with at uh, 150 mil focal length more or less and this image in my opinion works much better comparing to the first one still not the way i wanted but works much better and main reason for that is very nice and soft light the image was taken only 45 minutes be before the sunset so the sun was much much lower comparing to above the horizon to comparing to to the previous image and this image could work but again from the composition perspective we have a lot of distractions here and the, the background with these lines here on the left hand side and uh, nothing actually happening here on the in the middle and on the on the right hand side it also doesn't work and the third image which i took also handheld with r5 with 70 to 200 mils uh, lens at 200 focal length works the best in my opinion there is a small distraction here uh, the, the the bush but uh, it's easy to uh, to be it's easy to remove to clean so this one would be from my perspective the, the the best option to edit and also to publish but instead i would like to show you how we can save this image uh, and uh, use it for facebook or uh, Instagram, it does not have to be necessarily the image for the portfolio, but it still would uh, work nicely if you would like to publish it on Instagram or on Facebook. So to do, to do something with this image, to save it, first of all, I would like to crop it. And uh, because it was taken with Canon EOS R5, so the image sense, the, the sensor in this camera is 45 megapixels, so I can crop a lot and still have uh, a lot of data to first of all to process and uh, secondly uh, to publish in very good resolution to uh, social media. Um, as you can see uh, I can crop it like that. Let's see how many megapixels we would like uh, we would have right now. So it's about 5000 by 3000 uh, pixels so it will be like 15 max. It's much uh, much more than needed for Instagram or uh, Facebook. Of course, we always should uh, compose our, our images uh, the way we want them to be. 
yet in the camera instead of then cropping. But uh, one more thing which I would like to do, I would like to have this point here more or less in the center of the frame and uh, but also these lines to be like to touch the edge more or less on the same level. And because we don't we, we won't see the horizon here, I would like to tilt this image like that. And right now you can see that this point and this point are more or less on the same level, let's call it this way. And this point is mainly in the center. By doing that I'm also almost removing this, this the distraction here, but uh, let's see it right now. So I, as you can see, comparing to the full image, right now we have very minimalistic uh, shot, which looks really nice. And again, we have like 5000 pixels by 3000 pixels, so it's 15 max and it's good to go for any social media platform. Uh, before I will do some basic editing because normally for such images the goal is not to overdo them, not to edit them too strong because it's uh, it, it can achieve completely opposite result to uh, such a minimalistic atmospheric image should be. So um, I won't do too much editing but before I start editing I will remove the Two distraction, one spot which is here and the second one which you can see here. Uh, basically these are the bushes, bushes covered by the by the sun so we can use spot healing brush and just one and two and we are done with the with the cleaning. That's that's all what we need to do. And we have two options to go with such image. Either make it uh, more contrasty or make it keep it flat as it is but much brighter. So let's see what will work better. I will make it brighter, uh, which will give even more like atmospheric and minimalistic moody uh, look to this image. So I increase the exposure to like uh, plus zero six. As you can see, all the, all the pixels are kind of, let's, uh, reset the exposure, we are mainly in the mid-tones and that's, that's obvious, we don't see too much contrast in this image. If I would increase the contrast, then the histograms uh, starting to, to, to get wider, but it's still sitting in the middle, which means basically we are in the mid-tones. So let's increase the exposure first, then let's add some contrast. And as you can see, it's getting much brighter, but in the same time, much more kind of minimalistic moody and so on. Now, uh, if I will drop the shadow slightly and I will drop the, the black point slightly, then it, it, it gets more contrast, but it still remains very light and very moody. Let's increase also the highlights and a bit the, the whites, uh, which will make these edges of the dunes to be a bit lighter to, to give us a feeling that we have more lights on the edges. Then the one thing which uh, you can probably see is that here we are in the shadow area because we cropped from this bigger dune which basically covered the sun, so here we have a shadow. And at the bottom we have much more light, so what I would like to do to balance this image, I would like to add some shadow also here at the bottom of this image. So I will select my mask tool and then linear grad gradient tool and I will drop the gradient here. Very graduated. If, would if you would like to see the mask just press O and then you will see uh, which part of the image will be uh, will be influenced by the by the mask and right now I will increase slightly the contrast and I will also drop either the black point or the shadow. I will do both, move it slightly lower and uh, what else we can do? We can decrease slightly clarity, minus 10 should work, it will give a bit more softer look to the image. To the image I will do the same with the dehaze but I will I will add some textures to it to keep these, you know, these waves on the dunes. And uh, I will now slightly decrease 
the the exposure to like my like 0.7 this should be uh, this should be enough then i will increase slightly vibrance to keep the 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 color decrease the saturation a bit and then instead of uh, playing with saturation and vibrance uh, globally on the image i will go to the uh, to the H hsl panel and see if increasing the, the saturation of certain colors will change something. I believe, yeah, oranges are here, but I don't want to, to, to bring them. I will just, yeah, I will just slightly increase the, the luminance of orange and maybe yellow. No, yellow doesn't change too much. I will just decrease it slightly and uh, then I will go to calibration and see what happens yeah if I if I will increase the touch of uh, saturation for the blue primary uh, color hue then then it it works in general the 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 pictures uh, which you have here like the dunes shouldn't be in my opinion edited too strongly because then you can achieve completely opposite results however uh, if you go to my Instagram, you have you can see the same image edited slightly different way where I have um, basically much more uh, color, um, orange color and much more contrast. That's all for today. I hope you um, you enjoy this uh, tutorial. I will plan I plan to have uh, more of them on the on the channel, not only with Lightroom, but also with uh, Photoshop. So stay tuned. Uh, if you like it, uh, leave your thumb up and see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.